To get started, you're going to need two washers, and these are three inches in diameter and about an inch thick, um, a utility knife or a pair of scissors, and for me, I'm going to use a pencil. I went ahead and drew a pretty thin little chunk here, and what I'm actually going to do is make two cuts, one along this line and one along this line. So I made the first cut, now I'm just making the second cut here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make identical lines on this other piece here. I'm just using a pencil to make those lines. And then I'm just going to cut these. So now you have made your poof ball maker, and I'm just going to line these up and make sure they're relatively the same size, which they are, and I'll show you how to make a poof using these. And I was going to mention, I've seen people make these with cardboard, and I've actually made a lot of them with cardboard, but the issue is, is when I go to actually cut down the side here, I end up cutting the cardboard and it becomes really mangled and it ends up pulling my yarn a lot, so that's why I thought these rubber washers would actually be a really good idea. And they're about $2 each. I got mine at Ace. They might be cheaper somewhere else. So to make the poof, I'm just going to slowly start to wrap my yarn around both pieces, or both washers here. And so I'm just going to wrap it around and around like this. So once you've wrapped your yarn around a good number of times, what we're going to do is go ahead and stop wrapping, so that's about the thickness that I got it to. And I'm just gonna cut my string loose. Now, holding that one piece pretty tight, you're gonna wanna go up between these two washers like this and just trim all your yarn. And it helps if you have a sharper pair of scissors, so I'm actually going to go grab one. Okay, so now I've got some pointier, sharper scissors. And I'm just holding these as they fall and come loose. So now that you've cut all of your strands of yarn, go ahead and cut a long piece of yarn. And what you're going to want to do is lace it in between your washers like this. And now you're just going to tie it really tight. as tight as you can actually. And then tie it a couple more times. And now remove your washers. And you have your poof ball. Um, I like to hold on to the two longer pieces here. And this is how I actually attach it to my crochet project. So holding on to those, then we're just going to clean up any pieces that are just a little bit too tall. And I always save these um, and use them for stuffing and other projects. So once you get it trimmed, just go ahead and attach it to your work. I'm going to attach this to a beanie. So for this, I'm actually attaching this to a beanie pattern that I just released on YouTube. So I'll make a link to it in the description if you like the pattern. You can check it out there. So all I'm doing is pulling these two ends through two different loops in my hat, the very top up here, like that, and I'm just going to turn it inside out and tie it in place. And 
then if there's any kind of tail or anything like that, I usually tie it in with that once. And now you have a poof ball attached to your beanie and it looks really cute and you can see it there. So a couple things to note about making your poof. Um, if you want it to be really, really thick and full, then just loop it around this more than normal. Make it extra thick around your washers. And if you want it to be bigger, just like a larger circle in general, then you just want to increase this distance here. So either make the inner circle smaller or the outer circle, just make it a bigger circle in general. So that's how you create your own poof ball maker out of some rubber washers. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were trying to make this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for creating this with me and I hope you have a wonderful day.